We're heading through the top 40 questions asked by home buyers in the Worcester area. And the next question, what's the difference between leasehold and freehold? So we we'll start with freehold. It's slightly easier to describe and explain. Freehold is fairly typical for most homes. It would mean that the homeowner, the person that owns the property, owns the land that their property sits on. And there'll be a title with land registry that confirms what their boundaries are. And that's their freehold title. A leasehold property typically is sitting above land owned by a freeholder. So the land has to be owned by someone. But if you're in a flat, then you typically don't own the land underneath on the very ground floor. The ground floor flat doesn't own the, the title there either. It's typically a freeholder, which is often a separate entity. Now, if you are in a leasehold premises, there are things to consider. Firstly, there's a term of that lease. So your lease will be for a period of time. It can be anything from really... Typically, they're above about 60 years nowadays. You do have some that are less than that, which is where your solicitor will probably advise you can be concerning for a lender and also for them. But you're finding that most leases are going to be 70 years plus. They get issued at the very beginning with the new builds at around 125. You sometimes get 999 or you get 99 years on those leases. Don't need to worry too much about those leases unless they are getting less than 60 years. That's where you'll find that most lenders have concerns and your um, solicitor can advise you on that. Now, what you can do is you can extend the lease or the existing homeowner can extend the lease. And sometimes this can be done as part of the purchase. So a person selling the apartment needs to extend their lease, but doesn't financially have the money available. Bearing in mind, it cost anything between three to £20,000. It may well be that they have a deal with the lease um, with the freeholder, they can extend the lease upon completion. Something probably for another question, I'll be talking too long to go through it all right now for you. But the difference between leasehold and freehold, if you leasehold, you don't own the land that you're sat on, you're paying a freeholder, a rent, a ground rent for that. But if it's a freehold, it's the title is yours, the land that it sits on is yours as well. Hope that helps. If you have more questions, if you want to delve a bit deeper with this one, then get in touch in the comments and we'll be happy to assist.